Welcome to the PNSO Dinosaurs Museum. Small carnivorous dinosaurs. Austin the Giraffinator, the small hunter who lost feathers. Scientific name, Giraffinator. Period, late Jurassic. Fossils found in Germany, Europe. Description. Giraffinator was a small, bipedal, predatory dinosaur with short forelimbs, long hind legs, and good vision. In 1861, an unusual fossil was found in limestone deposits near Solhofen, Bavaria, Germany. It was the size of a chicken and had feathers almost the same as today's birds. But it was not a bird because it had teeth in its mouth and claws on its forelimbs. This fossil caused a global sensation and was later named Archaeopteryx. For a long time, it was thought to be the ancestor of modern birds. By now, we have corrected that view and classified it as a small theropoda dinosaur. Sonhofen seems like a magical place where animals' top tissues always remain well preserved. Many fossils with impressions of feathers were found here, thanks to its excellent burial conditions in the late Jurassic. Another dinosaur fossil, also found in Sonhofen, arose scientific interest for its lack of feathers. It was a giraffinator, a small Kumsuknathidae, to which the Sinosauropteryx found in China's Liaoning province also belongs. Sinosauropteryx, with its body covered with primitive hair, was the first feathered dinosaur ever discovered. Our impressions of dinosaurs have been changed dramatically because of it. We now know that not all dinosaurs were covered with scales because some of them had bird-like feathers. The discovery of Sinosauropteryx led people to think about how small theropods like the Comsognathidae family related to birds. Later, they found that the Sinosauropteryx was not the only feathered dinosaur. Sinocoleopteryx, another member of the Comsognathidae family, was also found to have feather impressions. Based on this fact, scientists boldly assumed that all Comsognathidae dinosaurs had feathers. However, the discovery of Giraffinator rejected this hypothesis. In this fossil, scientists found no feathers but impressions of scales. What went wrong? They speculated that its lack of feathers could be one of the following. It might have lost feathers during its evolution. It might have shed feathers in certain seasons. Maybe the juveniles had no feathers, but the adults did. Or it might be that Giraffinator had feathers, but they were not well preserved. All speculation led scientists to realize that the early evolution of feathers was complex and more diversified in our understandings of modern birds' feathers. Scientists continued to learn about the Giraffinator. In 2010, they scanned the specimen under ultraviolet light and were happy to find it that it had traces of filamentous structures suggesting that at least some parts of Giraffinator had feathers. After a series of studies, they made a bold speculation of Giraffinator's appearance. Now, let's take a look at this Giraffinator, named Austin. On top of his small body stood a long and narrow head. It had large eyes. The top half of his body was covered with primitive hair, with the bottom half had scales which were especially visible on strong hind legs and the long tail. Welcome to the PNSO Dinosaurs Museum. Join our writer Ms. Yang Yang and artist Mr. Zhao Chuang and start this fantasy journey.